clip clip here today once again. Uh, this is the jail or not jailbroken. What am I talking about? This is the uh, rooted HTC Inspire I had on my last video. Showed you how to get super user on it. Now this next step, we're gonna uh, download a custom ROM on here, and this custom ROM is uh, I'll have to show you where to get it after this after this downloads. Uh, I, anyways, once it downloads, you're going to go into ROM Manager, which you can download from the uh, Android Market. Uh, what's this? This is RC Mix. This is HTC Sense 4.0, or it's, or it's the 4.0 version of the custom ROM. It'll you you can find it there. Anyways, now once it downloads, it's gonna take just a little while. Once it downloads and everything, this is ROM pre-installation. You're gonna want to wipe everything on here, which means it's going to basically kill your contacts. So make sure you have them all synced up. So once you have all your contacts synced up and everything, Facebook, your Google account, whatever you're doing. Uh, you're going to want to back up the existing ROM too, so make sure you just do that. Okay, once you're done with that, press OK. And then we're going to reboot into clockwork, and make clockwork recovery mode. And this is where this part gets a little bit confusing to some people. So we just got to wait for it to reboot. This custom ROM that I'm downloading right now is the one that I have on my phone, the one that I showed you in a just pre installation video, but it's going to install this. Uh, it's backing up the system, system backing up boot image, recovery image, all that. So it's going to reboot, or it's going to back up everything that you're doing, basically, which is very nice. This is why you root an Android um, device because it just it's it's much more convenient. Let it take its time. Uh, after this one, I'll show, I'll upload a video how to upload a custom kernel, which allows you to do set CPU, uh, and set CPU definitely is awesome. It, this is the set CPU basically is what's going to save your battery or upgrade your performance whichever one you'd like. So this is kind of a big custom ROM so that it's uh, it's gonna take a minute for it to upload. So just give it time. And it's kinda neat how it does all this stuff so and like I said once you start it up all your contacts are gonna be gone. You're gonna think what the hell did you do to my phone? But I did not do anything. Again, not liable for anything that happens to your phone. This will uh, void your warranty on anything. So I'm not at fault for any of that. Doing it, this at your own risk, definitely. Okay, it's almost done here. I'll show you the steps after doing that. Almost there. Yeah, backing up the data now. I've always found it kind of interesting to watch the phones do this. It's always been kind of neat. Yeah, this is the part where it's putting the uh, ROM onto your phone. Okay, then I already installed G apps. G apps, you're going to want to do that. Uh, so you can get your Android market and everything and all your Google accounts, all that stuff. And that's only if you're really using Cydia. I mean, this ROM is going to allow you to do a lot of stuff. Or not Cydia. I mean, uh, people can't even think of the name right now. Cyanogenmon, there it is. Taking forever. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but... Back to the custom kernel thing. Custom kernels are going to allow you to do uh, a lot of stuff, saving your battery, all that stuff. So about SOPA and PIPA, what do you guys think about that? That's pretty crazy. Mega uploads now down, and that was the uh, that was where my toolkit was at to even root this thing. But now I've gotten it. I've gotten a new one from the XDA forum. So just go ahead and download that if you're rooting it. It uh, works the same, same exact way. The reason uh, a couple people asked me why I'm not cutting out any of this stuff, and reason being is because I want to show how it, how long it actually takes. So when you're sitting there doing it, you're gonna know how long it's gonna take. So we're almost at five minutes now. It takes it a quite a while because it's a pretty big ROM, but it runs smoothly. I love it. Okay. 
Okay, it's going to back up everything pretty much. Still going. And these custom ROMs are definitely, it took forever to make them, and so that's why it's taking forever to download it. But it's definitely worth it because with the HTC Inspire, it was announced that Ice Cream Sandwich also wouldn't come out. So if you'd like Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, let me know, and I'll tell you how to download it. But it's basically inside of ROM Manager 2, or you can get it off the internet, whichever one. Of course, some ROMs come with a custom kernel, but this one doesn't. So I'll have to show you which one we're going to download. You can plug it in the computer, get you a new kernel. As it takes forever. And of course, you can fast forward through this video if your phone's already doing all of it. But this is how long it's going to take. So I figured I'd record every single bit of it. <laughs> and uh, definitely, with, with also set CPU. When loading your custom kernel, that's going to allow you to make uh, the uh, um, your performance. You could also uh, make it run a lot faster than it's even supposed to, which is going to definitely run down your battery hardcore. But uh, <clears throat> but say if you if you want to if you want to do that, by all means do it. But I don't do that. I just run mine to where my my battery power is going to last all day. Yesterday at about 10 o'clock, my battery is still at 70 some percent, if not a little more. Day before, I was on the internet a lot uh, through mobile networking and also Wi-Fi. Uh, it was at the end of the day about 50 some percent, so used about about half the battery. And the task manager on this custom ROM that I'm uploading uh, right out of this phone has a great task manager. It only lets a couple of applications run at a time. If not, it pretty much uh, kills everything that's running. So it's going to save battery power first of all when you first download it in the first place with even without set CPU so if you're not comfortable with say um, uh, upgrading or or downloading a uh, um, custom kernel then this ROM definitely saves a lot of power so doing all the caches right now We're almost to eight minutes, and this definitely takes longer than to actually rooting the phone. Uh, downloading custom ROMs are pretty big. It's basically what your phones are running off of. So, <clears throat> still going, just about done. And like I said, you can fast forward through this part unless you just want to watch it. Whatever you're doing, I don't care. <clears throat> Just about done here. Way out of focus. Focus back up there. There you go. Almost done. We're just about there. Almost. Wait for it. Totally unfocusing. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. It's almost finished up here. And all your Android uh, market applications will be available on your market too once you do all this because it's going to become uh, crazy. Or it's going to become, I guess, it's going to download everything off your SD. So, okay, backup's complete. Now it's formatting the cache, the data, and the rest of it to officially install everything else. So, again, give it a little bit. And again, 
I'm wanting to do this. I want to make the full video so you guys know how much uh, or how long it takes. Um, that was a fun game. Okay. <laughs> so this is how you really kind of know that the custom ROM has been downloaded when you see this kind of stuff right here. It's the RC Mix 3D. And the HTC Inspire basically isn't a 3D phone. So it's going to have 3D effects, but of course it's not not a 3D phone. It's installing partitions now. So it's just about done. Still giving it a minute. And again, I wanted to do this video to where it would be the full thing. You want to make sure not to really interfere with the phone. I mean, I don't, I don't really know if that matters or anything, but um, just make sure you're not interfering with it, not pressing any buttons. The volume up or volume down button, just let it do its thing. Why the fuck up? Exactly. <laughs> Installing more files. There we go. Jeez, that was a fun game. The credits. And so look at this. Finish, reboot, and enjoy. First boot may take a while. May the Schwartz be with you. Don't know what the Who hell the that hell means. the hell made this? You seem Developers. So. Spaceballs. That's what it's from. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? Yes. <laughs> Spaceballs. <laughs> Thank you. That. Oh. Brilliant. Now so it's gonna brilliant. again. The first boot's going to take a while, but your, your ROM is officially uploaded, um, which is kind of cool. No, it's actually not kind of cool. It's really cool. So give it a minute. No, 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 HTC. Everything possible. Uh, everything possible. Oh, my God. HTC overload. Ooh. Oh, huh. There we go. And it's going to send you some trippy stuff here. It's the bootloader.